Before I go any further, I need to check my CSS and HTML. I'm going to validate them. So first let's check the markup. So that's validator.w3.org. And I'm going to upload it. And this is my demo A3 index. And I will check that. It's good. I'm going to now check my WebD file. And that's good too. I made no changes to project. Now let's check the validator for CSS. So that's jigsaw.w3.org slash CSS validator. And I'm going to upload my file, style file, and I'm going to choose my webd.css that I've worked on and check. Things look good. It does give me a warning that the WebKit box sizing, those are no longer needed. So I can actually get rid of those in my CSS. So I think I'll do that right now, even though Emmett gave it to me. It's no longer needed by W3C. So we're good there. So let's do that first in the CSS. And this one was at the top, the box sizing. It was one of the first things we did. And so it says that, hey, we don't need those vendor specifications anymore, extensions anymore, because box sizing has been accepted and we're good here. So I just got rid of those extensions. And if I go back into my CSS validator, if I go back one and choose that file again, webd.css that I've just updated, you can see that now everything's good, no warnings. Okay, now we can mess with the page. So some things, I want to get rid of the outline that I put around for troubleshooting purposes. I want to center these H2s, or this is an H1, this is an H1, and this is an H2. I want to make sure that any images are centered as well. So let's do that. Let's start with getting rid of the outline for the float left. Going into CSS, into brackets in my CSS for article. Dot float left, I'm going to get rid of that outline. Okay, for H1, I wanted it to be centered. So let's set the text alignment. Text align to be center. And so let's look at that first before we mess with H2. Make sure that things really work the way we expected them to. So I go back into Chrome or my browser. And when I refreshed, I can see that yes, it did center my H1 and it got rid of the red outline. And 
it centered it here on project and it centered it here on this Mesa College. Now looking at this, I think that it broke at a very strange point. I think I want at Mesa College to be on a second line. So let's fix that right now. And that's going to be in our markup. So work on one thing at a time. Don't, don't go jumping around trying to fix everything at a time. Fix one thing and then go back. So that was in webd.html and this was in the h1. And we wanted to force some things to stay together. And one way to do that is to make a non-breaking space. That's a one of the special non-printing characters. So that's ampersand n b s p semicolon. So that non-breaking space. So we want to have Mesa College to be together. So I just save that and let's go to my Chrome and update. So there you go, web development at Mesa College. If you wanted web development program, you could put another non-breaking space, but I think this is pretty good. But looking at this, I see that I think that I really do want these descriptions on these H2s to be on the left, but this one on the aside I want centered. So we'll leave the H2s to be left, but and then have the one H2 for the aside to be centered. So I need to make a special rule. So let's go to my CSS file and find H2. But I want to make a special H2 for a side. So let's look for a side. Here's a side. And I had another rule for it. I had turned its color blue. So all I need to do is set its alignment to be centered. And I save that change, go to Chrome, in my browser, and refresh. You can see that it only centered this one, did not center the other two. And on my home page, that's now centered. If I go to project though, I want those images to be centered. So let's take care of that. Let's actually take care of that in the next video. So here we took care of the headers. Uh, one thing before we go, let's check the HTML and CSS. Going back to Chrome, we want to check. So choose my, let's check the CSS first. and check and it's good let's go back to html let's choose a file oops check index oh no the only one we changed was was webd and that's good too so we're good and then we'll go and do some more formatting with the images in the next video.